What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, this is the spot that I trapped my first ever bobcat at this morning. We were able to catch them with a hole set with a cinder block. We have a one and three fourths trap right here. And I'm a beginner to this. So this is my first ever bobcat. I don't know if I just got lucky or I know a little bit of something. But hopefully I can teach y'all how to catch one of your first ever bobcats too. So first what we're going to do, we're going to have to get this trap out the ground and make sure it's bedded back good again. Alright, here it comes. Lay this off to the side. Get this cinder block up out of the way. I don't want to make this grass flatten back out. So first you're going to want to go ahead and Dig you out a little hole about like right here. You want the hole to be about two to three inches wide. And you kind of want to make it as deep as you want. You want it as deep as possible, really. It'll make whatever you're trying to catch inspect the trap more. Well, not the trap, but hold more. And hopefully get caught by the trap. A whole bunch of rocks right here that I'm hitting. If you have one of those um, hole, hole diggers, um, augers it's a lot easier to make your hole too so all i'm doing is taking dirt out of its hole and setting it on my map just to use for later so get these roots out the way you want to get this excess dirt out as much as possible and kind of pack it on the sides make it look like something's been digging here so now that we got that set well, I'm gonna make it a little bit, a little bit deeper. All right, now that we got that there. Kind of want to clear out a spot for your trap. I like one in about like that far back, so around like right in here. So we're gonna dig a little spot for a trap. A bunch of rocks I'm hitting. I just want to make it just wide enough to set your trap in there. You never want to make it too small. I mean, you never want to make it too big to start off with. Because you can always go back through and set it again. So Take my stakes out. Kind of clear this pan off a little bit. Go ahead and take this. Hold that over too. Just hitting something. Take this. Hold that over. I'm gonna do it with my feet actually. It's a lot easier to do with your feet. Take this, get that show out the way. Look at this, uh, flip this back. Open that up, take this. So you got it clipped like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and set mine since I'm already right here ready for it. So all you're going to want to do is take it till it clicks, or well, mine clicks. See it clicked in place right there, so it's ready to go. Get that crap. 
crap off of there. Go ahead, get these leaves out of here. Yeah, that was good in there. Take our stakes. Some people use our fingers. I use stakes on these traps. That's what I was given. So I'm not gonna complain. Crisscross them like that. Preferably you want to use a hammer, but I got with me is my shovel. So you want to hammer these sides in. Move this trap over here so I don't hit it by accident. Give it a little tug. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. So now I got this set. Get all the dirt or whatever you knocked in there while doing it. Now take your Take your dirt you have left over, kind of like, you don't want no rocks in there. Pack in the sides and pack some up underneath, not under the pad, but like under the trap. You don't want any wobble in that trap whatsoever. If it wobbles, whatever you're trying to catch, will not step on that trap. And I can promise you that. Also, don't want no soft spots in it. You can click on the hit on the sides. All right, I'm gonna grab a pan cover real quick. I forgot it. All right, so I got my pan cover right here, as you can see. Get these sticks and stuff out the way. Place our pan cover right there. Now that we got our pan cover there, we need our peat moss. So I got my sifter right here with my peat moss. You know, I want to spread this on top of your trap. Most time you don't need much. Get that all out here. And I'll use my brush. Kind of cover it up. So again, you want to find your your um pan right there. You want to mush in the sides right here. Take a little bit more peat moss and put it on top right there. your pans at you want to be the lowest spot in your set because whatever you're trapping is going to step right in that lowest spot when it's going to sniff this hole now you want to take your dirt that you dug out that you're saving for later put it on top of your set all the way around it make it look just as natural as possible
Most time you're gonna have leftover dirt too. That looks good to me. Brush this over a little bit. So you can use a stick too, you don't have to use a brush. I like using a brush. Get this excess dirt out of here. Now, whatever rocks you have left over, you can place those on the sides. With the coyote or fox or whatever you're going to trap. It's not going to step on a rock. You can use dirt clumps too. So, I've got that there. The pan's like right here. Now, I got my hole here. I can pack all this stuff up. Take our shovel with us and get all this crap up. Alright. So, now, I'm going to get your bake bag. Get my bake gloves on real quick. always want to switch gloves. You never want to use the same baking gloves and your set turban gloves because if a kite smells that bait on your trap, they're going to dig it up. So this trap, I'm going to use Big Digger. That's what I used last time. It's from Bass Brothers. And I'm going to take this Bobcat Glam Lure. Set that there. Then I'm gonna use some kayak yarn. I'm gonna grab a stick real quick. All you really need is two medium sized sticks. So put this here so I don't lose it. You want to take your bait. You want to get this close to the hole just in case I drop some. Get your bait. That stuff looks nice right there. Stick that on down in the hole. Now we're done with this. Get the other stick you have. Get your um, Bobcat Glam Lure. Soak that in there. I like putting some up here. So anything's nearby I can smell it a little bit better put a little bit more up there I'm gonna take some more of it I'm gonna stick it down in the hole oh crap good thing that landed on my mat because that would have been bad then you're gonna put your top on that now I'm going to take this Crap, we need our sheep's wool Take our sheep's wool that I forgot about Get a little bit piece off, like about this big works I'm going to stick that down in there Now you want to take your cinder block or whatever you're using, your backing Cover about half of the hole up. Now I like taking my coyote yarn, spraying it on top like that, and spraying some down in there in the hole. And that's a set right there, boys. Put our stuff up. Now hopefully there'll be another bobcat there in the morning, or even a fox or a coyote. But that's how I caught my last bobcat, and hopefully it'll work for y'all. One more step I forgot to talk about when you're done. You want to take your brush or whatever you're using. Kind of just like flatten this out. Make it look like nothing was here. Even back here where your feet were at. A lot of people forget about that. Kind of want to flare it out. Now. That's a finished set right there. Hopefully it gets a bobcat or something else soon. Good luck to y'all.